Hii karibu tena kwenye kivumbi 2017 ambapo mkono wa saa unaashiria kuwa ni chini ya siku saba kabla ya wakenya kufanya maamuzi yao ya kidemokrasia. Na kadri siku zinavyozidi kukaribia, KTN News kwa hisani ya kivumbi 2017 itaendelea kuletea matukio yote yanayoambatana na uchaguzi hadi tutakapomjua rais wa tano katika jamhuri ya Kenya. Na manzu the wait is definitely coming to an end. The minutes are ticking away but just six days to the much awaited election questions over ballot papers, election technology and the preparedness of the IEBC is haunting the election referee. And in the middle of it all, a mysterious murder is being investigated. We're here with the difficult questions. Who killed Chris Msando and why? Well, this new development impact next Tuesday's poll and how best can the IEBC manage the next few days in the run-up to August 8th? The experts, the pundits and the observers will be right here in our Election HQ super panel to dissect all the intrigues of this election. Bila shaka na tunaletia mjadala katika maeneo yenu kupitia msafara wa KT News kivumbi 2017 leo Mary Kilobi na mwanahabari Mark na Maswa wamejenga hema katika kaunti ya Embu kwa upande mwingine Masherima Kapombe na Hassan Juma watakuwa wenyeji katika kaunti ya Machakos Naam katika kaunti ya Embu tutakuwa tunajadili masuala mazito ambayo wakazi watakuwa wanazingatia katika uchaguzi mkuu jao ili kutathmini ni viongozi wapi watakao wachagua na wapi watawacha nje. Na hapa tutakuwa na tuna madebe matatu kuhusu uh, masuala ambayo uh, watakuwa waki watakuwa wakizingatia kwa mfano utakuwa na kura kuhusu masuala ya gharama ya maisha masuala ya afya pamoja na uh, masuala ya, ya uh, ya usalama na basi tutakuwa na kura hapo baadaye lakini baadaye pia tutakuwa na mjadala kuhusu viongozi ambao wanania viti mbalimbali mbali kama vya ugavana na vinginevyo uh, tunarudi kwako Joy Doreen Bira And thanks a lot Mark and definitely here we are going to be telling you what's happening online and uh, we are going to be speaking to people in the know to tell us how to differentiate between fake news and factual news so are you able to differentiate between these two you can let us know and we'll be taking you through that conversation here on ktn online that is on kivumbi 2017 and if you're taking part online that is on twitter and facebook and all the other social media platforms do let us know what you think if you're able to differentiate between fake and factual news back to you ali Manzu. Nama asante sana kama ulivyoelezea hapo tutakuwa na swali ambalo tutakuletea baadaye na pia katika sehemu yetu ya pili jioni ya leo mtazamaji itakuwa tunakuletea sehemu ya pili yale makala ya wakimbizi ambao walikuja jana na mwanahabari Zubeda Kome atakuwa anatuletea sehemu hiyo ya pili Nam and that is not the only big story we have tonight so make sure you catch part 2 of Zubeda's piece but also tonight that saying that a lie told a thousand times becomes the truth will be put to the test. Africa Uncensored John Alanamu presents his exclusive investigative piece dubbed Siasa Pesa na Propaganda. At our election HQ, we're leaving no stone unturned this entire week as we count down to the 8th of August mwaka 2017. Usio mtu. Kando hivyo mambo yalivyo na mambo mengi ambayo tumekuandalia hii leo kumbuka kwamba kuanzia saa moja na nusu kwa mara nyingine tena makala ama sehemu ya pili ya makala ya fumbo la wakimbizi yaliyoandaliwa na Zubeda Kaome lakini kwanza tupate vidokezo. Maandamano yafanywa Nairobi kumkumbuka afisa wa IEBC aliyefariki kwa mazingira ya utata Chris Musando. We have Raila at 49 and Uhuru at 48. Raila Odinga yuko kifua mbele katika utafiti wa InfraTruck. Rais Uhuru Kenyatta anamfuata kwa karibu. Na leo KTN News itakuletea makala maalum ya kivumbi katika kaunti za Machakos na Embu.
Na mtazamaji basi moja kwa moja tukuarifu na taarifa ambazo tumezipa kipa umbele siku ya leo baada wana habari wenzangu kutoka na kuzikusanya. Mashirika mbali mbali ya kijamii hapa nchini yalifanya maandamano hapa jijini Nairobi likulani mawaji yalikuwa meneja wa teknolojia na mawasiliano kwenye tume ya uchaguzi na mipaka nchini IEBC Chris Msando. Ya kiongozwa na shirika la utetezi wa haki za kibinada MKHRC yalitoka bustani ya uhuru hadi kwenye afisi za tume ya IEBC kutoa risala za rambi rambi na vile vile ku wapa motisha kuendelea na kazi ya kufanikisha uchaguzi. Mashirika hayo yameitaka idara upelelezi kufanya hima kubaini kiini cha mauaji hayo tata. Naye mwenyekiti wa IEBC wa Fula Chebukati aliongoza makamishna wengine katika kupokea risala za mashirika hayo amesisitiza kwamba kamwe mauaji hayo hayatatikisa mchakato mzima wa uchaguzi Juma Lijalo. We are gathered here um, partly to, um, to to condole with the family uh, uh, upon this very uh, uh, very shocking um, loss, um, but also to to stand in solidarity with the IEBC uh, and and Kenyans as we go in to vote um, after this um, uh, torture and murder that um, affects uh, people's confidence in the process um, to urge the IBC to continue and Kenyan to vote and for the government to make every effort to get to the bottom of this murder as quickly as possible. Chris Msando has been killed in a manner that has something to do with his role at IBC. If that perception uh, is what the public has, it is what will operate as the country goes into elections. So we thought to come and uh, show solidarity with the IBC, tell them that the large majority of the people stand with them and nobody wants this country to end up in violence. Whoever tortured him, I don't think there's anything that you will have found that would be useful to him. Assuming that that's what he was looking for. Our systems are secure. We have our service providers. And come the election day, we are going to deliver the results as expected. Vema kabisa hakikisho hilo kutoka kwa tume ya IEBC licha ya kukumbwa na changamoto ambazo zipo usoni mwao hivi sasa. Kwingineko viongozi wa muungano wa NASA sasa wanataka msaada wa kimataifa kusaidia kutafuta ufumbuzi wa mauaji tata meneja wa IEBC Chris Msando aliyepatikana mewawa eneo la Kikuyu. Wakiongozwa na Musali ya Mudavadi, viongozi hao wa upinzani wamesema hawaridhishwi kamwe na namna kisa hicho kinavyoshughulikiwa na idara ya polisi na kutaka wafanye hima kubaini kiini cha mauaji hayo. Of an internationally recognized expert in the area to supervise the CAME system. <coughs> With the reported intimidation of IBC officials that's been reported, Kenyans will be unable to believe that whoever takes the late Musando's place will perform the job with the integrity that Musando brought. It is vital that urgent steps needed to ensure an effective investigation, such as securing the crime scene, are immediately put into place. <coughs> Kenyans have little faith in our Director of Criminal Investigations resolve to identify, pursue, and bring the killers to book, as well as those who directed them to justice. Kenya's recent history is replete with too many and resolve probes into politically motivated killings. In addition to speedily accepting the American and British offer, we urge President Uhuru Kenyatta to commit himself publicly to the right of Kenyans to freely elect the leaders they wish to lead them into a much better future. That can only happen through the holding of an honest election. President Kenyatta should throw the full weight of his office behind the speediest possible and credible investigation. 
Mgombea wa rais kupitia chama cha Thadway Alliance Daktari Kuro Kota sasa anaitaka tume huru ya uchaguzi kuziharibu karatasi milioni moja nukta mbili za uchaguzi anazodai zilichapishwa kwa ziada na kampuni ya Algorire ya Dubai. Akizungumza mapema hii leo Daktari Okota anadai kuwa kuwepo kwa karatasi hizo za ziada kutachangia pakubwa wizi wa kura wakati wa uchaguzi siku ya Jumanne wiki ijayo. Voter turnout has never been 100% in the history of our country. And to expect that uh, 100%, there will be 100% voter turnout to be able even to use the extra ballot paper doesn't make sense. Chris has done solid and robust work at IEBC to ensure the election of technology is tamper-proof. And we intend to honor him by ensuring that his dream of a transparent, free and credible election comes true on the 8th of August 2017. An election must have a clear audit trail of ballot papers. After casting ballots, IEBC should focus on counting and reporting their cast votes and not monitoring and count accounting for the unused extra ballot uh, papers. We will lose focus um, of the election if we concentrate on counting unused extra ballot papers. Kinara wa muungano wa NASA Raila Odinga anaongoza kwa umaarufu miongoni mwa wapiga kura kwa asilimia 49%. Hayo ni kulingana na matokeo ya utafiti uliondeshwa na kampuni ya InfoTrack hapa Kenya. Rais Uhuru Kinyata anamfuata unyo unyo kwa asilimia 48%. Umaarufu wa gombeaji hao umeongezeka kutoka ule uliotolewa siku kumi na moja zilizopita ambao ulionyesha asilimia 47% wa Kenya waliohojiwa wangempigia kura Raila Odinga huku asilimia ya 46 wakimpigia kura rais Uhuru Kinyata. The question we ask is if elections were held today who would you vote for? And what we then see is the numbers haven't really changed that significantly. We have Raila at 49 and Uhuru at 48. We have Raila uh, leading at the coast with 63%, Uhuru with 32%, uh, and then decided is 4% at the coast. We have uh, Raila at 46% in northeastern and Uhuru leading slightly with 48% in northeastern and 3% undecided. In eastern, we have Raila at 51%, Uhuru at 47% and 2% undecided. In central, Uhuru has an overwhelming lead at 92%. Uh, Raila has 5% and there's 3% undecided. In Rift, it's not different from what we showed you last time. Uh, Uhuru still leads there at 65%. Uh, Raila has 32% uh, you know, support in uh, Rift Valley, and the undecided is at 3%. In Western, uh, he has gained ground in Western Raila, so he's now at 79% in Western. Uhuru is at 19%, and the undecided is at 3%. Uh, in Nyanza, Raila is at 86%. Uhuru is at 14, and we don't have really uh, a significant number or anything for undecided there. Uh, in Nairobi, we have Raila at 56%, um, Uhuru at 40%, Dida at 1%, and undecided at uh, 3%. Mazamaji hao ni matokeo ya InfoTrack jioni hii pia kampuni ya Ipsos ilitoa matokeo yake ya mwisho kuambatana na kanuni za utafiti kama huu ambapo umemorodhesha Rais Uhuru Kinyata akiwa na asilimia 47 umaarufu dhidi ya kiongozi wa NASA Raila Odinga ambaye ana umaarufu wa asilimia 44 kumbuka leo ni siku ya mwisho mtazamaji kwa kampuni kama hizi ama mashirika kama haya ya utafiti kutoa matokeo yao ya mwisho kumbuka siku tano kabla ya uchaguzi wa hawaruhusiwi kufanya hivyo hivyo basi kupa fursa wewe popote pale ulipo kufanya maamuzi yako unaendelea kutazama kivumbi 2017 mtazamaji taarifa ambazo tunakujia kwa njia moja kwa moja kutoka hapa jijini Nairobi baadaye tutakaporudi tutawasiliana na habari wenzangu waliopo katika maeneo ya mashinani ili kutuandalia yale ambayo ametuandalia katika kwa matana na kipindi ambacho tunacho siku hii ya leo endelea kuwa nasi KTN News your official election station